All right, everyone, wanted to give you a quick patio garden update. You'll see out there we have some grocery store shopping bags. We are using the um, shopping bag container system. I'll put some links down below uh, from the information that I have on that from other YouTubers. Uh, we've got some peppers and tomatoes out there. Uh, they were starting to get stunted in their growth in those little um, pots, so I wanted to get some in some soil. The rest we're going to try to plant outside just to see how they do in our really uh, just sandy soil. Um, and I have a few that I'm going to give to some friends. Wanted to tell you with the um, shopping bag growing bags, um, the Walmart bags, at least our Walmart bags, have changed their size. And a lot of the videos that I'll link below, they use Walmart bags. Those have changed in size and, and they're really not suitable for this. And all these uh, reusable bags were huge. So I ended up finding these bags at Publix. And um, so just be mindful of that when you're looking for bags. I tried finding them at the thrift store and they are just really challenging to find right now here. Um, but I'm gonna keep saving them throughout the year as I find them for next year's growing season. So that is where we are uh, right now with the patio garden. And wanted to give you an update on the Worms, Eliana's doing a great job with the worms. Actually, to be truthful, they're pretty boring creatures. <laughs> they're not a lot of hard work. We just throw in some scraps every few days. They aren't eating a ton because we, we still have a small colony. But you'll see here all of these castings. This is a good sign. They come up here at night, party hard, meet, meet some friends to make worm babies, and um, we had about a week where the humidity was really high in the bin and there was condensation here. And we actually had one guy, one little worm escape and that was not a good situation, but we remedied that by adding some more shredded newspaper, which they seem to really like to gobble up. Um, let's see if I can find any of these guys in here. Oh, there was one. He, I don't know if you can see that. If I, if I add the light, they're going to just crawl under anyway. But there are a few guys in there um, munching on some stuff. But the increased humidity was from apples and um, coffee grounds. So if you're adding you know, moist um, kitchen scraps, just be mindful that that's going to change the humidity in your bin. And having drainage holes just isn't enough, at least in our area, because it stays really warm in our house to, to manage that. So add in some dry things like sawdust, they like um, shredded paper to kind of help balance the moisture out in that. And, and you should be fine. So I hope this is encouraging for anyone um, interested in doing this on a shoestring. We keep the bin in our house so that you know they are out of the sun and the heat because it's really hot here. It's in the 80s already. Um, and um, there's no smell, nothing. You, you wouldn't even know they were in here except for this big bin. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so that's going really well too. Last but not least, I wanted to give you an update on our, our water harvesting. Um, I'll try to link the video below uh, where we started uh, collecting our warm up water in the shower. And then we just kind of modified the way that we load our dishwasher. And I just got our water bill in yesterday and it was $20 less <laughs> than last month, which was a shock. Now it was a, a shorter, um, a shorter billing period. So I had to go through and do some math and subtract some things, but I, I discovered by changing the way that we were doing our dishes, we didn't change anything else. We didn't change the way we, how long we took showers. We didn't change how many loads of laundry we did. We didn't, we didn't upgrade our, our high flow toilets nothing just changed the way that we were washing dishes um, we saved we did not use 360 gallons of water 360 gallons of water uh, so now that's financially we saved about five dollars total um, <clears throat> off of the bill from once once the billing period was uh, accounted for and all of that we saved about five dollars which Water is fairly cheap, so that was that was actually, a, I was really impressed and pretty surprised by that. Um, but more so, so we had 360 gallons of water that we just did not use, did not pull it from uh, the, the county's well. 
Um, but also I, I looked at my records and we harvested about ooh, 160 gallons of warm up water. So over this month we, we harvested about 160 gallons of warm up water and we use that for watering our um, garden plants and other, you know, other plants in the front yard, the ornamental um, plants and trees up there. So total over 500 gallons of water were either, um, you know, just not used because of conservation or were reused. And I am, I am so amazed. Like it was just such an encouraging thing. There was one night uh, where I almost dumped a whole, like the big giant restaurant pan of water it was really full one night. And I almost dumped it on myself trying to get out the front door and I thought, oh my goodness, this is not worth it at all. Why am I even bothering? Um, but this, this little, you know, victory in the water bill and just seeing how that effort is paying off and we're being good stewards of this resource and learning how to do more with less. Um, I just, it was, it was a big high five for our family. So hope that encourages you to see how we're plugging along in our little corner of the world. And I hope you guys are doing well. So take care.